All right, this is my review of Shield by Jonathan Hickman and art by Geralt Perel. Um, hope I'm pronouncing that right. This was let's see easily one of the best uh, reads I've had in a while. It's I don't know how long it's supposed to be. They don't have the number on here. You just usually it says issue one of you know it's like issue one of six or issue one of twelve. I think it's gonna be like a twelve issue miniseries. I'm not for sure. So the idea is that they're gonna Marvel wanted to um tell the history of Shield. Um remember back when we didn't even know what Shield stood for, now we know what that stands for. And it turns out that S.H.I.E.L.D. has actually been around since Ancient Egypt, which is very uh, cool. I love Ancient Egypt and mythology, so you know right there, he's got my attention. Um, not only that, we get to see that other other figures in the Marvel Universe, um, back in 1953, we get to see um, national, you know, Nathaniel Richards, we get to see Howard Stark, um, we get to see characters like Apocalypse, um, the original Moon Knight, we get to see, you know, Leonardo da Vinci is here in here, he just, Jonathan Hickman is just so creative, um, Secret Warriors is, if you haven't read that, you should pick it up, um, Secret Warriors is easily one of the best books out during the Dark Rain saga and all that stuff. He um took a character like Nick Fury that was already badass and made him even more of a well made him even more of a third dimensional character. Um a lot of personality um from Nick Fury in and um Secret Wars. So if you, if you haven't read that you should pick it up because um, if you, chances are, if you like the Shield, you're gonna like that because it's the same writer, Jonathan Hickman, and this book is definitely a must, uh, a must read. And my friends also told me about this. They're like, "Hey, you should pick this up too. Shield is good." Um, and I've been hearing people talk about it, and of course, I've been kind of behind on my Marvel books. Uh, besides Siege and all the events, I didn't really pay attention to other stuff um only paid attention to a couple books that had characters in it that I liked but um I'm gonna start following this Jonathan Hickman guy I've been hearing some good things about him like I said I read I read Secret Warriors and I like that so he 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 hits the spot he um he knows he knows exactly what I like catches my attention and I'm all for it I can't wait to see what else they're going to do with this because they show so many characters we knew but in the past um and it makes sense that apocalypse would be there because apocalypse you know was the first mutant um as far as time wise go i'm not talking about like they say namor is the first mutant but i'm talking about like back he was the first mute of his kind um you know he had the name I think his name was Ashur Nu, you know, that's when he, that was his real name in ancient Egypt, and it's just so interesting to see what they're doing with those characters, uh, to see just how old they are. I wonder if they're going to show um, Doom's family, you know, get to see how long their his, his um, family um, went back to, you know what I'm saying, like, you know how 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 long has this bloodline been around for, and uh, that's going to be very interesting. So, final thoughts: definitely pick this book up. Ten out of ten. Artwork is great. Writing was great. Looking forward to more. And uh, that's my review of this book. And I am out.